Inside Dark Tower, the better and new Stephen King adaptation <laughs> is here and it's better than Dark Tower. Dark Tower's a piece of shit. That's what I we hear. have it, guys. <laughs> it is the new horror movie that's been remade from the Stephen King novel of yes. the same name and also a remake of a TV miniseries. Uh, it it uh, is set in the fictional uh, small town of uh, Derry, Maine in, in the US and it follows the story of a group of kids uh, known as the Losers Club and they are tormented by this uh, evil child-killing demon clown Pennywise yeah, played by Bill Skarsgård Interestingly enough, this film um, has come 27 years after the original TV miniseries Crazy, I don't know, how, I don't know how that works That's out. crazy, and, and Bill Skarsgård himself is 27 years old Ooh. So all these layers, 27 years this movie is pretty much an adult version of the Goonies. If Goonies had head decapitation and child molestation in it. <laughs> oh wait, that is Goonies. You boys like fun? <laughs> That's a fair assumption. <laughs> but what I really loved about this movie is it just had so much other like film pop culture leveled in it. Like there was concert, there was um, in Derry there's like a, a cinema, the cinema marquee yeah. and it had Nightmare on Elm Street 5. And Batman. And Batman, I know, that was awesome. <laughs> and yeah, like in the kids' house, he had uh, posters of like Beetlejuice and yeah, stuff like that yeah. up on the walls, which are very, very, very cool. And like with all Stephen King movies, they always take elements from the other films. Like I noticed also, you know, the titles that come up with the, with the months? Right, yeah, and yeah. And stuff yeah. like that. It's yeah. pretty much the exact same, uh, the font titles from The Shining. Is it? So when The Shining has like Wednesday, Tuesday, right, yeah, yeah, it's pretty okay. much the same I didn't thing. Even... Make yeah. a connection. So it's cool. He's like, yeah. like with all the films, they kind of connect them all. The cast in this film, I thought was especially quite fantastic. Oh my god, the kids, dude. The kids, <laughs> the so kids good. are amazing. Um, and but Bill Skarsgård himself, the man playing Pennywise, was just amazing. I, I thought anyway. Yeah. I thought he have was... you seen Tim Curry's? I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed the yeah, the original. It's a dated performance. It's, on it is dated. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, two very different performances. Yeah. Whereas Tim Curry's just that goofy clown. Yeah, he doesn't seem all too sinister. No. Yeah, the Skarsgård's one is just like this evil. Yeah. Son of a bitch. So the film starts just like the mini started with um, Georgie and the boat going down the drain. Mm -hmm. And this yes. is where we first meet Pennywise. And as far as Pennywise as a character, it's he's really interesting. But there was only, there was an issue that I didn't like about it with the fact that throughout the movie, we got a bit of a glimpse of his powers and what yeah, he can yeah. do and what he can manipulate. And there was a point in the movie where he was just started teleporting kids around. There was no almost limit to what Pennywise could really do like there was no kind of ground level but like well yeah, what, what and I did walk out feeling a little bit upset that I didn't know more about Pennywise as a character right okay. and I assume that is something we're going to get more in the sequel probably yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you know, what makes a good villain is to kind of relate or sympathize with what he is and that's true I really but that. I do feel like it played to the strengths of the kids you know, mm. not knowing what was going on totally. and like them trying to figure out this mystery of this this creature. Yeah. And like, so that was kind of cool where like he, you don't know what he's no. capable of and the kids didn't know. So that no. was kind of cool. So we could get on the same wavelength yeah. as the kids. Going back to Pennywise as well, mm. was there other than the the first scene with Georgie and some, and some parts of the end, mm. you don't hear much from Pennywise. Like he doesn't have a lot of dialogue with the kids throughout, which I was really hoping to get more of because no. the yeah. performance is great. And I really wanted to hear him like, just talk some shit to the kids, you know, yeah, really scare them. That, that, that opening dialogue with Georgie is... Oh, it's amazing. That's exactly why I wanted more of it, though. Like, yeah. even if it was just little bits here and there, Ooh. but he's mostly just, like, <laughs> just running after them. Yeah, showing through other images and that kind of thing. Yeah, there's some cool stuff, yeah. but I just want a little more dialogue. And the scares are there, and, the, and there's some really scares. A bunch of times I was, like, shivering in a really? head, like, yeah, man, like, that, that bit, especially in the basement, but I felt like it could have used with a bit more emphasis on some hot, like really horror scary moments yeah i think like the conjuring, a lot more personally you know? i wasn't scared the whole film like yeah. even even the jump scares like i either saw them coming or they just didn't do it for me you know like there wasn't many jump scares in it though really like no no that's true them. there's only a couple maybe yeah. but like even them like i was just like okay like that's cool like which is a shame because i thought there were some really cool horror elements mm. visually they did some really cool stuff the, the Shining and Misery, right? I'd, yeah. put, I'd put it pretty much right up there with that. Really? Not as high as The Shining, because Shining is like hands down like my favourite right, movie ever. Yeah, yeah. But The Shining is very much the same as It, where it doesn't rely solely on jump scares. It's more about the imagery itself that's frightening. Yeah, okay. You know, seeing stuff. So it's, it's, it's a different... I would separate it differently from like a film like The Conjuring. Oh, right? yeah, for sure. It's a sure. To, 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 total yeah, yeah. different movie. I personally feel that this film didn't need to be a total sloggy scare fest. It didn't need to... Ride too much on jump scares. I feel like they needed to balance 
the kids' relationship, and then Pennywise. Pennywise is always very much a supporting character. Yeah, not oh, the main sure. character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it had a very kind of stand by me Goonies feel, where you're with the kids' journey, and they're they're experiencing some pretty horrific shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, but I think the more focus is on the town and the kids, Pennywise and the scares were like an, an added bonus to that, I feel. Yeah, I just think the the horror part kind of missed the mark for me anyway. Right. And like, the, the character stuff was good, mm. but as a horror, not so much. I really enjoyed, uh, the cinematography was really nice mm. in this movie. Yep. Uh, the director who did this, his previous film was called Mama. Mama, yes. And uh, he, for a second film, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this guy knows how to paint a frame. Like, he sure does. And to be able to like, main maintain a cast of kids and to keep them controlled and like, and All the kids work off each other so well. They're great, yeah. They're so good. And like none of them, none of the kids felt like they were a wasted kid. Like all they felt flat. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they all got a good purpose. screen time and yeah, they yeah. added something to the story. And on top of that, I think the writing mm. was great as well, for the most part anyway. Like all the banter between the kids, mm. their conversations were like pretty genuine, real authentic. Yeah. Like, you know, there's one, there's one dude was so savage all the time. <laughs> he was always making mum jokes. Hey, Richard. And, and like, <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed the music. The music was really, really cool. I think it's Benjamin Walfish, I think, did, yeah. did the music. He uh, beautifully balanced, like, if you look at, hear some of the music, it's got that kind of carnival ride music yeah, slightly yeah. in the background. Did notice that sneaking through. Yeah, you've got that. And then you've got some beautiful piano kind of tension. And then he brings in this orchestral score to kind of moment. So mm. I think he nailed a really nice, like, horror score. Which can be tough to like distinguish yourself from other horror horror schools. Yeah, that's true. Considering a lot of horrors, they all sound very much, very the, much same. the same. Yeah. yeah, so overall, I did I did enjoy this film, just not as a horror, which is kind of one of the big things I really wanted to get from it, was like a, a decent horror as well as, right. you know, this Stand By Me-ish yeah. kid's journey thing. Stranger Things, Stand By Me. All yeah. That yeah, all that sort of kid's... The craze lately! <laughs> yeah. Um, but it was good, and like we say, the, the cinematography and the music all kind of held it together, and it was beautiful. Um, like I said, I really enjoyed Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise. I thought he was fantastic. Mm. Um, it had a really good... How was teeth, man? Oh, that was great. Yeah, the teeth and the way he drooled when he was like talking yeah. and stuff. And the way he runs. <laughs> so good. And the way he danced as well. Yeah, yeah. Was, oh, man. That was yeah. one freaky shot. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and just like <laughs> overall funny. nailing the kind of 80s vibe as mm. well. Like they had the, like, yeah. with the costuming and just Music. like... Music. Some yeah. of the, like the soundtracks they use. Yeah, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, so overall... I, yeah, like I say, I did enjoy this, just not as a horror, so I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. So this is very much a coming-of-age tale about misfits finding each other, mm -hmm. forming a group, forming their own family, because obviously some of their own family are not doing the job for them. That's not very nice. No. <laughs> but uh, overall, I did really enjoy this movie. It wasn't the most extreme horror I've ever seen, like you said, but I, it could use definitely a few more scares, mm. something a bit more. There were some good moments where I did jump and I did I did get shivers, so they did get points for that. Um, the film looks like a million bucks, looks really nice. The yes. kids are amazing. Yeah. I would love to see more. I'm really looking forward to chapter two. And as far as in, like again to wrap up the negatives that I I didn't, I think I, I would love to see more a more Pennywise, mm. more of his origin or to know what his limits were. We know why every 27 years this happens, but it just as far as Pennywise as a character is quite interesting. So I think we got left not knowing too much about him, and it kind of felt like I was missing that. Right. You don't need to give me everything, but just give me like what, you know, again, his powers, like where does his limits go and kind of, but again, they might say that for the sequel, like I said Maybe. before. I like the mystery. Yeah, <laughs> My, totally. Mystery is cool. I was actually, I was going to give it a nine. Now that I've talked a bit and a few <laughs> negatives about it, I've kind of bitched a bit too much about it. Uh, I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. I still really enjoy. It. I think you should go see. I think you go see. It's don't take the kiddies. It's an R16, <laughs> yeah. so be careful. Yeah, it's definitely worth a watch. Yeah, for sure. That yeah. opening scene, like especially the first bit with George and the so in there. <laughs> you can leave after that scene if you want. <laughs> well, Bill, if you will come with me. Thanks so much for joining us for another jovial entertainment on the chopping block movie review. I can't do a J. I can't do a J. <laughs> this has been the review for it. I can um, give you a J. I'm joking. I can't do drugs. I wouldn't take one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, definitely go check out it at the cinemas if you can. It's very, yeah. very, it's, it's a good time. Uh, Stephen <laughs> King's always, always a blast. Yeah, yeah. And uh, please like and subscribe, do all that jazz, and leave us a comment. Talk to us about the movie. Did we get it wrong? Do we think there was a damsel in distress uh, issue, Taylor? And uh, yeah, please.